May, and basically there's something that I don't think we've ever talked about uh, for May uh, that is definitely a good topic for this year, um, and that's trimming. There is trimming that you can do on your mango trees right now, and a lot of it depends on the circumstance of your mango trees. Uh, basically, this year we've had several varieties that have gotten zero fruit or, you know, maybe one fruit on them. And so uh, that presents an opportunity. Uh, right here is Pineapple Pleasure, and we had a gorgeous bloom on this tree, zero fruit. So uh, what I could do with this tree right now is to trim all of the ends, make it a little bit more compact, and so that it would be ready for next year. Uh, this tree is not large, and so, you know, I don't really need to do major pruning on it. Um, but this is Pineapple Pleasure, and it's a really popular variety. So what I'm going to do is harvest scions from this tree and then see if it needs any other trimming back. Uh, but one thing I have noticed is there are a few dead branches in there. I might as well take care of the dead branches while I'm here. Okay, that's looking good. Just make sure that I don't trip on the branches, but uh, gonna come back and prep some scions. Uh, but that's all that's needed for this. But if your tree is bigger than this and you want it smaller, uh, now would be a good time to make it smaller because it has all of these growing months, these prime growing months in the summer ahead of it. So you can make a, uh, some major cuts now and then go back and make minor cuts at the end of the summer. So here's our second situation. Uh, this is a pretty gorgeous tree, uh, especially this side of the tree. The new leaves, when they're slightly younger than this, are just gorgeous. They're very red. Uh, different varieties have different colors of new leaves and this particular variety is ST Maui, very showy when it has young leaves. Uh, this side, um, you know, it actually has sort of a brownish color leaf uh, as the new leaf and uh, it turns green of course, uh, but a slightly different color green than the ST Maui. ST Maui has lighter green mature leaves and this variety over here is Saitong and the, new, the older leaves are actually darker green than the ST Maui. So just sort of take off a leaf so that you have the, the ST Maui is the lighter green, Saitong is darker green. So darker, uh, different color mature leaves and different color young leaves. But this tree right here represents quite an opportunity for trimming in May. Uh, basically, wherever you see new leaves coming out of this canopy, that is an indication that there's no fruit. Because on the branch ends that have produced fruit, you see that, you know, they have fruit hanging here. All of the energy is going to that fruit. And so it doesn't have energy left to put out new leaves. Uh, unfortunately, there's a large part of this tree that has not set fruit, so it's making new leaves. So just on that basis alone, it would be a good opportunity to trim back these leaves uh, at this time of year because this tree would have a huge amount of time to recover from trimming. But there's another reason to trim back the new leaves. New leaves are consumers of energy and nutrients from the tree. Uh, and basically, if you leave, a, if your fruit bearing mango tree uh, has a lot of new leaves, a lot of calcium is actually going to the new leaves instead of the fruit, which makes the fruit taste not quite as good as 
it would have if the new leaves hadn't been supported. Uh, so not only do the new leaves take energy, it takes them about 45 days before they earn their keep. And uh, so they are consuming energy from the tree for 45 days, uh, but also there are, they're really taking a lot of calcium from the tree. So lots of reasons to take the new leaves off. It's a great time of year to do that. Uh, the tree will have a lot of time to recover and you, so you can make major cuts. There's, you know, wherever you see fruit, of course, like there's this one little branch here that has a fruit. You wanna try and avoid cutting that, but I can cut like huge amounts from other parts of the tree. For instance, all of this has new leaves. So I'm going back further on this branch. And you see how all of these, when the, when the tree is left to its own devices, uh, ST Maui is sort of famous for just shooting out a bunch of branches from the same point here. Uh, so there are six branches coming from the same area. That's really not ideal, not only visually, but also it's not as strong of a structure as when you get a branch coming out from, uh, you know, like these nodes that would have been here. That would be more than an inch apart from where the branches were from each other instead of all on the same plane. Uh, so basically, you get a better tree if you can cut back from, you know, this area where it's produced six branches in the same place. Uh, also, I don't want this tree to get huge. So now is a great time to trim it back because it will shoot out nice branching. And then if it needs a little bit of trimming uh, after mango season, I can make some minor trims there. So here we go. So basically I'm going to do this for the rest of the tree. I want to bring down the height quite a bit, uh, but you know, I'm checking every branch before I cut it. Uh, you know, and so none of this you know, had fruit hanging from it. Uh, one benefit is that when you get rid of all of these new leaves, it's much easier to see the fruit that is on the tree. Uh, so anyway, it's uh, lots of reasons to trim the, the tree that has fruit and a lot of new leaves. So the third thing that I am cutting at this time of the season, here we are in May after all, is uh, wherever I find mixed bloom. And basically, uh, this is uh, lemon meringue or popiclay, and it is like probably the star mixed bloom, uh, you know, variety uh, for this year. Uh, it just seems to have mixed bloom everywhere. Uh, you know, look at this. This is like crazy amount of leaves. They, um, there's a few panicles that were here, and then we've got, you know, fruit also. And it does seem like in a lot of instances that the fruit are exactly the same size as they would have been if it hadn't been mixed bloom. Uh, but still, the thing about mixed bloom is that it's never going to be real growth. Uh, you know, here we have only leaves on this panicle uh, and sometimes they will send out more leaves, but it's never going to be strong. 
Uh, this is this is mixed bloom, even though there's no flowers and no fruit from this particular panicle. Uh, so the best thing you can do in this circumstance is to remove the, you know, the everything. Well, of course, you're going to have you leave the fruit on <laughs> just in case, uh, but you can cut everything else off. Uh, it's never going to be you know, like right. Uh, you know, here we have, uh, you know, part of the panicle was leaves. You know, sometimes you have only leaves on a panicle. Got to take it off. Uh, this is just this is wimpy it's never going to be right so wherever you see just leaves on a panicle uh, you can cut it off and you know like it will save you some time down the road uh, it's uh, you know the, the tree will continue to support these leaves uh, because they are actually producing you know food for the tree and such uh, but it's never going to be right so you got Got to be bold and and take off the mixed bloom. Uh, as I say, this it's been a big problem this year because you know we had a weird year for weather, and you know it never got really cold uh, at the right time, and so the trees were sending out new growth, and some of it turned into flowers, some of it turned into leaves. Uh, so. In order to sort of reset your trees, get them ready for next year, uh, whenever you can, remove the mixed bloom, but not the fruit.